our biodigester vessels. We will collect manure. Most of the time we grab cow manure or goat manure, but you can use anything. You can use rabbit, you can use pig manure. Um, if you go to Southeastern Asia, there's a lot of pig farming where they actually have, um, they spray up all the manure into a vat that goes to a giant biodigester. Um, so it's a really great way to use your manure to get gas. But we'll fill it about that, one third full of manure, and then another third full of water, and chop it all up to make a nice slurry. And then we'll close and cap off everything um, and open up this valve so that gas can collect into a tube. And this is a very small system. This only burns for about 45 minutes um, a day for about three weeks. So it'll last, one barrel will last us. But there are bigger systems where this is done with tractor tires, like up on ceilings of things. And in those cases, families can actually cook a majority, if not all of their meals, using this type of system, if they have livestock to provide enough manure. Um, so it's, really, it's a really cool system. It burns pretty clean methane. Um, and then afterwards, not only do you get this gas as a resource, this slurry is a great fertilizer you can use on your soil. It hasn't lost any of the nitrogen. It hasn't lost any of the micronutrients. It just got digested for you, so those nutrients are become more available for your crops. So using it back into your garden is a great idea um, to grow up some healthy crops. And you're feeding it, feeding it <coughs> uh, <coughs> scraps or effluent or something? Feeding the... Uh, the bacteria? No, nope, they're just in there. They just come in with the manure. And so then you replace it every, well, I don't, I don't know, um, do you know how often you might replace it? This system? I think this one, it really depends, honestly, on how much we're using this methane, because there's only so much pressure that can be built out. Like, this will just pressurize to a point um, until we end up using some of this methane, and it can release some back into the system. Um, so if we were using it every day, it would last us 45 minutes for about three weeks, is what they figured when they did it. Just one barrel. So you can make your tea or you can make your lunch every every day for a month off of one barrel. Now can you use human waste? Yes, you can. Yeah. That's a pretty neat system. Alright, I'm running out of time unfortunately. So I might have to race through a little bit. But this is fine. <laughs> Ben built this at Richard Powell's place. Ben who? And then Ben Silvis. Oh, he did? And then he brought it over my place. But 